James Sabalski back here for EA Sports. Well, the battle lines were drawn in game one. What's in store for game two of this series? And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Great reach with the poke check. And he takes the feed. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The steel hits strike quickly here in this one, and they're already on the board less than a minute in. Well, that's how you start a game. I mean, some of the fans are in the corridor, and they hear the cheers, and they're not sure what happened. I mean, that's how fast it was, James. But that's how you start a game. That's how you dictate a place and send a message to your opponent. We're not letting you have anything tonight. Harry's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing the score. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Sends it ahead to Murphy. The Americans scoop it up along the boards. Handles the puck at the point. Let's the wrister fly. And that goes off a body. Idaho's crossed the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. Takes the puck. Takes the feet at the back end. Blast from the point! Makes a save! Cool and calm under pressure! Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Thought we were gonna get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Toss up the puck after that hit. Picked up along the wall by Wooby Doo. Centering pass! And that's stopped! And now he moves it quickly to Jarvis. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. The Americans win that offensive zone faceoff. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Thunderous collision, and look at the end result. He's on his own bench. Yeah, and this is tough to handle whether it's on your opponent's bench or yours. You know why, James? It's because you weren't able to stand your ground, and now you're over the boards. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Allen's looking to break out, and he slides it quickly to Fournier. The Americans take it across the blue line. Centering pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. And another stop. Kanadi's lugging the puck. Moves it over to Ernie. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Allen's got the puck. Puts it on that. Oh, what a stop by Thompson. Keeling's got the puck in his own zone. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Whistle blowing, stopping the play. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Idaho's got a five on three on the clocks. They're BFF here. Five on three. You know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. Shoot it, goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. 
Another face-off looming here on this power play. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Play rolls on. Allen's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck slid down the ice. Walker's almost back on the ice. Both teams got to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. It takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. Past the midway mark of the frame, Idaho's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Nice job tying up his opponent. Allen's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Weber. Scoops up the puck. Makes the glove stop. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. That's played by Thompson. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Answered the call there. And he loses control of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. The Steelheads have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Sends the field in front. And that chance is blocked. The Americans are across the line and into the offensive end. Gets in front of it. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Whoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. The steel hits will play it in their own end. Shot makes the save! Along the ring up the neutral zone. And it's a textbook body contact there. And now he tries to get it across to Merchant. Idaho's got possession here in the offensive zone. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes the feed. Too much congestion in front. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Let's see what the officials are calling. Miller's been nabbed for tripping. Opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And they send it down the ice. Scrum ensues along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Here comes the call. The steel hits are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Americans with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. Thompson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Idaho's got possession here in their own end. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Miller's back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Allen's in now. Idaho's 
PK unit comes up clutch. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. But you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Allen's got the puck at the defensive end. Here they come. Grabs the puck. From the open ice, they gain the line. Pokes it away in his own end. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather, and we'll come back with period number two in moments. for the first 20 minutes. The Steelheads are winning by two heading into the second period here, James, and it is a deserved effort. They've been all over the puck. They've been strong on the forecheck, and in particular on the puck, they've managed it extremely well, and they've been rewarded for their effort. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 2 nothing game here tonight. Idaho's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the dish. Idaho's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, that's a piece of it with the glove. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Won the face off here in the offensive zone. Big time stop. Harry's all over that shot and makes an incredible save getting to the top of his crease quickly because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. The steel hits gain the zone. Oh, no for error as he got body and wall and crunch. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And a successful clearing attempt. The steel hits get a hold of the puck in their own end. Idaho's got it in their own zone. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. The Steelheads are trying to put the game away, but unfortunately that one hits the post and comes out. And this is a tough one to take. You have the lead, you want to extend it, and you certainly don't want to give any life to your opponent. Lots of time left in this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Idaho's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And that's denied by Perry! Jacobs takes it into the offensive zone. And that's just wide of the net. I'm sure he'll want that one back. Well, he certainly will, James, but not a lot of room out there trying to get it off quickly. 
and as a result, just misses. Drops the iron! I know those players can't get too frustrated here with the multiple hit post, James. They're in the lead, they've been effective in the offensive zone, and they're continually generating some shots. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The steel heads played along the boards. Allen's got a hold of it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Jarvis. From the right side, they gain the zone. Summer indeed! And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Nice bank pass off the boards. Off a stick and they can't connect. Answered the call on that play. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Allen's ready to go on the attack. Shot! A shot! Right in the bread basket for the save! Nearing the midway mark of the period. 2-0 is where we sit. Setter's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Gaining speed through center and here they come on the attack. And that's blocked from someone in front. Allen's got it against the boards. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well past the midway mark of this period, Idaho's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The steel hits win the draw on their own end. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Puck battle along the boards. Quick feed to Karate. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The steel hits move the puck in the defensive zone. Idaho's on the attack. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. The Americans played along the boards. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The steel hits will serve two for slashing. puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Oh, what a close save by Thompson! All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Merchants ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Idaho's won the defensive zone draw. Quick shot! Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Americans win it. Hammers it on there! Oh. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it! Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. Allen's found some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. Moves it around along the half wall. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the 
Rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. Idaho's won the faceoff at center. Intercepted at center by Robidoux. Allen's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, he got all of it. What a save by Thompson. Pushes it across to Miller. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And it doesn't. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Idaho's got the puck behind the net. Here's a short pass to Miller. Quick shot, makes the save. Right positioning, looked easy. Looking to set up offensively. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Great feed from the left side. The Americans take possession in the defensive end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. Tries to feed it over to Farmer. Let's it go for the back end. And that goes off someone up front and doesn't reach the net. Nice feed of center moves up ahead now. Allen's gained possession along the boards. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Americans take it across the line. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. The Americans have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick shot. Blocker saved by Thompson. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner. signals both teams into position. It has been a fantastic matchup here, back and forth the both ends of the ice. Let's see what happens in the third. Drives to the sweet spot, and that's blocked away. Stones him in front, and he takes the pass. Big save by the goaltender once again. Plenty of time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stops the rocket of a shot. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The steel heads win that offensive zone face off. Crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. 
Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Register stick handling in his own zone. Idaho's through center and now in the offensive end. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Steelheads kick off this third period in style, jumping out in front by one. Let's face it, they've been in full control of the game. Just look at the time of possession, James. It's been on their stick. So if they can hold the puck, be in the offensive zone, guess what? It's not in theirs. Knocked off the puck. Across the line, down the left wall. A chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves it quickly over to Kanadi. They've got some momentum here. Denies him with a save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Steel Hits are looking to build on this one goal lead. Kanadi's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. And that's off target as it hits a body. Slides it over to McCauley. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Idaho's got it in their own zone. The Americans ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot, blocked in traffic. Idaho's got it along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Keeler. With possession along the wall. The score! Well talk about a friendly game right there. Oh uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you gotta get the right one, and that one is in his favor. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James, and that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Both teams readying here for the face-off. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Gould. No room for that shot to go through. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Poked away in the defensive end. Looks to set up at the point. feel good about himself and let the creativity flow. Idaho's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. The Americans are on the attack. Pools going to play it to the corner. Puts it on net. That stop. Hashtag blocked. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. And the body language on the bench says it all. James are all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they've got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. The steel hits and their man advantage unit out once more. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Idaho's got the puck along the wall. Can't maintain possession after that hit. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. Register's got it in the defensive end. He grabs the puck here at the point. Denied by Perry. The 
They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Idaho's won the draw, no go to work. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know, I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Murphy. The Steelheads have been so impressive tonight, James. It's been a lot of fun to watch them, too. Just their dynamic on the ice, their chemistry, and the fun that they're having makes us smile as well. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Here comes the call from the official. The Steelheads are being called for tripping. Opportunity here on the man advantage. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time, but we'll be looking for those same openings. A chance to clear, and he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Shot scores, and the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. Allen's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Takes it to the net. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Late goings of this period. Allen still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. The Steelheads gain control of the puck against the wall. Great save from in tight. Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Allen's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Redirected off a stick. Brzezinski's moving the puck through his own zone. Allen's looking to break out of their own end. Gagnon's going to play it against the half wall. Scores and make it a one goal game with that tally. And you can feel it coming, James. They've been playing way more aggressive. Their opponent sticks are getting tight and they're panicking a little bit. I'm telling you, the time is now. This next shift, they got to build on that score. They are in one now. The Americans have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Still has possession. Big Bears taking it from his own end. The Steelheads pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Circles back to center ice. And some smart heads up defensive play by Register. Fires to the empty net. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. One run. And if you asked anybody going into this series if they'd be surprised where this series would be at, at this point, 
I think everybody would say no. Yeah, I know. And I would say no. You would say no because we see that this might go the distance. I mean, your best on best, your players have to respond after a loss. And that's exactly what happened. They've got them now square even. And now it's back to the grind. And it's going to be a real and fun and entertaining series here, James. We know it's going to be back and forth. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabowski, and we will see you next time from Rickside.